because they have their um, social security um, they have the the police officers and other government employees persecute and hunt, uh, follow and stalk these uh, citizens elderly citizens and hunt them down again this is uh, noise uh, health diagnostic imaging um, uh, located at uh, 111 Clara Barton Street, Downsville, New York, 144-379527. The phone number is 585-335-4235. Um, Exam Campus NMH. And it was written on May 25th, 2016. It is uh, directed to Luisa Oyarsun, uh, who lives at 1449 Rochester Street, Lima, New York. It reads, Dear uh, Luisa, your recent breast imaging studies on um, May 6, 2016 showed an area that we believe would be en enhanced by doing additional studies or exam. Uh, they want to do an ultrasound of her left breast, uh, the one that is being hurting uh, the most because she has uh, tumors there. But um, according to Montefiore's um, imaging supervisor uh, from the ultrasound um, department and from the uh, uh, radi radiology department she's full of tumors and she's going to die anyway so why bother uh, these were her, her words uh, and it reads please contact your physician to obtain an order for the above procedure However, she cannot contact her physician to obtain an order because they won't do it because uh, she doesn't have her New York State strain Medicaid because illegals are using it across the country. And she has uh, at least uh, 34 other million people, mi million citizens, have to go without medical care until they die uh, because the illegals are using the taxpayers' money uh, and the state uh, med m m uh, medical insurance uh, courtesy of the taxpayers um, to have free medical, hair, uh, medical uh, care and uh, medication. Okay, uh, and this is uh, this is the prior exam number, I guess. Okay, and it says uh, Noise uh, Hospital. It says the address, and this is the copy of the envelope. It has U United States uh, Post Office uh, marks here and numbers. And this is the letter from Lisa Oyarsson's previous uh, doctor, a letter that was issued by more than 10 or 15 doctors. And uh, after the pertinent exams uh, with multi-million dollars machines uh, were performed, it reads, November 16, 2010, to whom it may concern, this letter is to certify that Lisa Oyarsson suffers from the following condition, seizures, epilepsy, lower back pain, she has a severe back injury, uh, and her back is split into two, uh, so she has um, paper clips, not paper clips, but she has uh, metal things uh, holding it together. Uh, she has multiple sclerosis, degenerated joint disease, history of cervical cancer, two cancer operations, esophageal ulcers, migraine headaches, she has three stomach ulcers, migraine headaches, two leaking heart valves, osteoporosis and arthritis. The heart valves are a problem um, even more than the epilepsy because if she gets any infection whatsoever she can have a, it can go to her heart uh, and uh, kill her. So the heart murmur is, is a problem. Uh, even, you know, it could be a, uh, uh, more than the epilepsy problem because uh, during a seizure she can have an epilepsy uh, seizure and a brain hemorrhage and die. But uh, if she's um, getting the, uh, the the right care, uh, she hopefully w will not get um, the seizures uh, for a long time and she will be able to to survive but if she gets any uh, infection it can go to her heart and kill her within hours 
uh, he continues 11 cervical cancer uh, procedures in 1971, 1998, uh, and something else. By the way, her lung cancer is not listed because she hasn't been able to see this doctor since 2013, uh, the last time that she saw her, because the doctors, this doctor was uh, intersected by the illegal mafia, uh, antagonized and threatened and yelled at and uh, she refused to continue to see Luisa Oyarsson anymore and uh, or falsified her uh, medical file as all the other doctors uh, have done for the past uh, five or six years. Uh, so the said mafias, uh, employee, mafias employees can continue to sell uh, Luisa Oyarsson's identities and government benefits courtesy of the taxpayers, of course. And uh, so since 2013, she hasn't been able to see this doctor. Um, and after that, of course, she had to flee Westchester County because uh, Kevin McGuire sent assassins after her. And of course, the assassins uh, followed her to Lima, New York, eight hours away from Westchester County, and tried to get into her trailer where she was forced to leave because she had no money because it was sold, uh, all stolen from her by the said uh, government employees. And uh, she was followed by an assassin sent by Kevin McGuire, who tried to get into her trailer at three o'clock in the morning, two days after she moved into the trailer, and uh, assassinate her. Um, number 12 is um, Frank Pancre uh, pancreatic problems uh, and uh, she's hard of hearing also. So uh, according to the Department of Social Services employees and um, this, the Centers for Medicare, Medicare and Medicaid Services quote unquote and the Social Security Administration offices, they have the legal right to uh, sell this person's Medicaid to illegals and also uh, give this person another um, medical insurance that does not cover any of her um, problems and that's why as a consequence of these actions by the said government employees this person is dying and these according to my 15 years research have happened to millions of American citizens in the country while the illegals are ni nice and well and are getting um, full cover medical care, uh, full cover housing, full cover uh, cars, uh, expensive cell phones, etc. Uh, which is very, very unfair uh, because you do everything right, you work for dozens of years, you contribute to your government benefits, your social security, and then other people uh, enjoy those benefits while you die in extreme poverty and for lack of medical care and lack of medication. Again, uh, this is a copy of the real Medicaid uh, that Luisa Yarson had before meeting, uh, having the misfortune of meeting Kevin McGuire. And um, this is the uh, fake Medicaid issued by Kevin McGuire with no picture on it. Okay, you can see that the uh, real Medicaid has uh, an ID number of YP35597V as in Victor. And the fake Medicaid has uh, another ID number, e as in, uh, Edward D as in David, 09532H. Uh, and it reads, um, this is my New York State straight Medicaid, which was changed when I moved to Westchester County in uh, Westchester, New York, by the illegal aliens mafia members uh, working at the Department of Social Services in Westchester County, meaning um, Kevin McGuire and his supervisees. Well, there was another uh, illegal aliens mafia member there who got fired after we reported him. Uh, his name was Mahon, and I think he went to jail or something like that. Uh, anyways, uh, it looks like Kevin McGuire has more connections because he said that he's connected to the uh, New York State uh, Governor Andrew Cuomo. Of course, this was after, uh, this was before uh, he Andrew Cuomo was um, investigated and caught uh, in different illegalities, and now they want to send him to jail. 
Uh, the bottom medicate uh, uh, has a notation also and it reads, this is the medicate that uh, the above illegal aliens mafia members re replaced my original New York State straight medicate with in order to sell to sell it to illegals across the country and illegal aliens mafia members who wanted to buy it. This is also the same Medicaid that the Livingston County Department of Social Services illegal aliens mafia members want me to use so they can continue to uh, sell it to uh, illegals. And this um, is the end of the facts, of these facts, um, to the illegal aliens mafia member Department of Social Services uh, employee, uh, Diane Dane. I hope you, you have learned uh, a lot with this um, video and I hope you protect yourself because uh, the um, responsibility of the government is to see that its citizens are well taken care of uh, not to not uh, are that are murdered uh, or assassinated uh, in order to steal their, their identities and government benefits and sell them to illegals in the country.